faço pedidos. Tá? <risos> Yeah. 
Lord, praise the Lord. Pastor Morrison, praise the Lord. I call him Mother Morrison, praise the Lord. Mother Morrison, praise the Lord. Everybody remember the Elder Coleman, Elder Harris, praise the Lord. Everybody remember, I hear God praise for my wife, praise the Lord. Thank the Lord, hallelujah. But most of all, I give God praise, I know I'm saved, hallelujah. I know I'm saved if I, and I know I do like the Holy Ghost, glory to God. And I do have been baptized with body, glory to God. And I thank God. Y'all was all in my message, praise the Lord. So I thank God for the confirmation. Yeah. Glory to God. I right, there one, please stand as we go to the word. Praise the Lord. Not going to be long, but I'm going to be strong. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It don't take all day. We come to get the word. let the word do the word. And you sit down and take your rest. Glory to God. Turn with me to Psalms 139. Psalms 139, the first to the fifth verse. And then we're going to get also, you get 2 Corinthians, the 13th chapter. Now we come from Psalms 139, the first to the fifth verse. Say amen when you have it. Amen. Hallelujah. Again, that's Psalms 139. Glory. The first to the fifth verse. Oh, yeah. And the Bible declares, O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down city and my uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou compassest my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue. But lo, O Lord, thou knowest it all together. For thou hast beat, beat, beset me behind and before, and laid thine hand upon me. Turn with me over to 2 Corinthians, the 13th chapter. 2 Corinthians, the 13th chapter. And the fifth through the tenth verse. Glory to God. Thank you. Glory to God. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Again, that's 2 Corinthians, the 13th chapter. Oh, yeah. The fifth through the tenth verse. Amen when you have it. Amen. And the Bible declares, examine yourselves. Whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates. Right. But I trust that ye, sh ye shall know that we are not reprobates. Now I pray to God that ye do no evil, right. not that we should appear approved, but that ye should do that which is honest, though we be as reprobates. Right. For we can do nothing against the truth. Say nothing. Nothing. But for the truth. For we are glad when we are weak, ye are strong. Uh -huh. And this also we wish, even your perfection. Uh -huh. Therefore I write these things being absent, lest being present I should be sharpness. According to the power which of the Lord have given me to edification and not to destruction. Uh -huh. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I come right now, God, to tell you thank you. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy, Lord Jesus. Thank you for traveling mercy along the dangerous highways and byways. But God, as I stand to give your word, God, I ask for God to decrease me, God, that you might be glorified. Not my will, but your will be done this morning, oh God. God, give us a word today, God, to help us, God, to navigate through our storm. That we hear you say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. And God, will be careful to give your name to praise and to give your name to glory. Heal us and we shall be healed. Deliver us and we shall be delivered. Save us and we shall be saved. It's in your son Jesus' name we do pray. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. If I had to use for a topic or a sermon title, praise the Lord. It will be the check engine light is on. It's time for a service. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I ain't come to shout you. I come to cut the grass a little bit. Hallelujah. The check engine light is on. And it's time for a service. Glory to God. And I'm going to try to teach a little while. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My holler just come with me. Glory to God. And we as the body of Christ, we must understand as a believer that a time is going to come in your walk with God that you're going to have to get another service. Yes, Hallelujah. You're going to have to get your oil changed eventually. Glory to God. 
So you go through life, you're going to have to go through some changes. Because God don't change what the time does. Glory to God. Because the Bible declared that I'm the Lord your God and I what? Change him not. Hallelujah. He told Solomon, Solomon said, there is nothing new under the sun. Amen. What was has already been. Amen. And what is coming has already been. Amen. So ain't nothing to you. You can't fool God. Amen. You might can fool me for a minute, but the Holy Ghost is going to give you revelation. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so sometimes it's just like the body of Christ. We got to understand that we're living in a time where a lot of people have lost their joy. Glory to God. I'm going to take my butt now. Glory to God. A lot of people have lost their joy. Well, you know, you used to see them jumping and shouting. Now you can't give them to say amen. Glory to God. It ain't, don't get me wrong. It ain't about to dance and how loud you is. But it comes a responsibility as a saint that we have when we come to God's house. Praise the Lord is a, is a command, not a gesture. Praise is not a dance. Let me, let me help you. Hallelujah. Praise is, is, is the way you adorate God. Praise is the way that you say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I magnify you. Lord, I exalt your name. My dance is an expression of how I respond to what God does. So if I dance, it's because I'm telling God thank you. But praise is not a dance. Praise is what I offer to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Tell them, the body of Christ got it messed up. They think because you didn't dance, you wouldn't praise to God. No, that ain't how it go. Your praise is on the inside. Glory to God. Because bodily exercise do what? Property is order. We got so many dancing devils, they don't know to deliver. You still dancing, but you ain't deliver. Hallelujah. What good is a dance that you ain't deliver? Glory to God. The chick engine light is on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But let me, let, let me stay right there. Glory to God. I'm going to plow the ground there. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And I'm, I'm in the younger generation. Glory to God. And they, they got all the hoops. They got the rips. They got the run. They got the keys. They got all this good stuff. But we ain't got no power. Jesus. Oh, glory to God. I tell them all the time, be real or be still. Stop speaking in tongues. You can't pray at night. Oh, God, I love you, Jesus. I know we speaking in both tongues in the past. But ain't nothing changing in the atmosphere. They still living broken, disgusting, and all up. But we speak in tongues, we shout and we dance, but nobody ain't getting through. Glory to God. The Bible tells a man that has say he has religion that can't tame his tongue. His religion is in vain. So stop speaking in tongues and let's live this thing. Glory to God. All right, glory to God. Paul said, I come. He, the Paul told the church of Corinthians, glory to God. He said, I would rather that you prophesy oh. than to speak in tongues because your tongues is just to God. Oh. Now, don't get me wrong. We do speak in tongues. The Spirit of God gives us utterance. Right. But who can I win speaking? Who can I win? I can't win you because I'm going to offend you instead of win you. You don't, you're not an interpreter. So if I'm speaking in tongues and you just like, what's wrong with him? What's wrong with her? Because you ain't got no interpreter. So your tongues is in vain because ain't nobody been edified. All right, glory to God. It's hot, but it's right. Glory to God. They know me out there. Be real, be still. Don't think that you still gonna do what you're gonna do. Uh uh, baby. You can't strap the bitch here. Glory to God. But back to the chick engine light is on. I tell them sometimes, I say, what good is having a raw as raw body? But you got a lot more engine. Yeah. Lord, you look good. You look like you're saved. Glory to God. I feel like preaching. You look like you're sanctified. You look like the body of Christ. But you ain't carrying nothing on the inside. They tell me in the country, if they wagon make a lot of noise. You make more noise than the musician corner. Glory to God. But you ain't got nothing on the inside. Yeah, you still can prophesy and still preach. Because giving and calling come without repenting. All right. I ain't going to get too many amen, but I'm going to preach it now. Glory to God. I got someone on the inside that tells me to go, hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But I tell them, it's time to stop professing and not possessing. What good is saying you got something and you never show the fruit of it? Oh, God, I love you, Jesus. That's why you can't get to heaven with just good morals. You got to have some fruit behind your tongue, behind your dance, behind your preaching. 
Because the enemy is going to try you in what you profess. Yes. You say you say he's going to try you right when you say you say. Yes. He might not try you in the service, but baby, one day, day that next week come. Oh, he's going to show up. Yes. You'll know what's in a person when they get upset. Yes. All right. If you're saved, you just say. If you got it, you just got it. So we ain't talking about the way. We ain't talking about the way. I told him I ain't old as some people will praise the Lord, but I know I ain't talking about the way. And if you're going to live right or you're going to sit down until you get it right. We talking about playing church. Why nobody can't get saved? Nobody can't get healed. Nobody can't get delivered. Glory to God. We got too many people playing church. It's time to be the church. He said, let the redeem of the Lord say so. He done, he, he done all in my message. The, the church got to take a stand. All right. We dancing, but we ain't standing. All right. All right. Oh, God. All right. Oh, God. All right. Praise the Lord. Yep. Hallelujah. We dancing, but we ain't, we ain't standing. Glory. Bishop, we used to call them jelly back preachers. They preach one day, and tomorrow they folding up. Oh, God. Hallelujah. We say we against this right here, and tomorrow we stand. It's all right. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. You know what's wrong. Are you still doing it? To him that knoweth to do good and do it and not to him is what? Sin. You can't compromise. God's word don't compromise. Because if it compromised, he would have made an escape route. He did for your, for your way to, for you to come out. But you can live this thing if you want. All right. Praise the Lord. It's time for the body of Christ. We got to stop dancing with receipts. Yeah. And it's time to get the package. Right. We dancing with a profession, yeah. but we ain't possessing. Oh, yeah. I got to see a change. Right. The Holy I tell them, the tongue ain't the only evidence of the Holy Ghost. That's right. I say, let's, let's go read the word. Hallelujah. Right. I ain't want to give you my opinion because it don't hold no weight, but the book is all that matters. The Bible says, Acts the second chapter, the first chapter, the eighth verse says, and ye shall receive what? Power. The tongue didn't come, you did. All right. Ye shall receive power. After that, with the Holy Ghost that come upon you, then it came with a charge. And you shall be witnesses unto Judea and Samaria, all the other places, going to the head and the highway, and compel me to come back. Then after the second chapter comes up, and they were all in one place, on one accord. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven, and a mighty rushing wind, and they filled the temple, and it appeared unto them cloven tongues. Then they spoke in tongues, and the, but first they had to be endowed with power. What good is the tongue you ain't got no power behind? It don't work like that. and they begin to speak in tongues and the Spirit of God gave them us. The Spirit of God gave them us. You can't make this up in the corner. I told when you speaking in tongues, you ain't speaking to man, you speaking to God. Now if there is a message for the church, God will use somebody. But you will know that everything got to come to a halt when God got a word for the church. Ain't no preaching when the word come forth. Because you will know if it's God. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care how old you get in God or how young you come in. Somebody can see. Somebody know if you're living right. I took uh, 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 a lady at my church, Mother uh, Glory. She said, what's wrong with your Holy Ghost? Because the Holy Ghost ain't got no malfunction. You always upset. Then you want to come shout. Oh Lord, I love you, Jesus. How you going you gonna cuss me out Monday through Saturday? You want to come Sunday and say, Lord, forgive me. All right, praise his holy name. That's why your tongue ain't calling us to come together. All right. The check engine light is on. And it's time for a service. But I want to give to you. You know when you take your car, they'll get an oil change. They tell you you got to get a filter and some new oil. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm going somewhere. You got to get a filter and some new oil. But the filter is the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But the oil is the anointing. 
So he said, because of the anointing, that what? The yokes are destroyed. But I ain't got the anointing until I get the Holy Ghost. You ain't got the real, you ain't got no anointing. So he didn't say, he didn't say the anointing come with repentance. He didn't say that. No. No, 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 no. He said the gift and the callings come without repentance. But the anointing comes with a cause. A lot of people say, oh, I'm anointed. No, baby, you was appointed. He, you, you the people chose. Come on here, David. David was anointed king at his daddy's house. But he didn't reign until some years later. The problem is we trying to run before God say go. You ain't got the Holy Ghost. You got to get it right first. Because he said no good thing was the well of in my flesh. So until I get the power that can kill this flesh, I can't operate. All right. But the problem is the body of Christ, we're going through a, 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 a the, 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 the filter is clogged up. The filter is clogged up. It got clogged up from gossip. Got clogged up from lying and backbiting. We done went back to custom now. They done went back. I know I come out the whole the The women in white pants, now they put them back on. Glory to God. Oh, yes, the Lord Jesus. I know that come to cut the grass. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's time for the right. I told you, when you say God told you to do something, you go back, that means God ain't able to keep you. And that's a lie. That's a lie. And Bishop Williams says he's a lying wonder. You, he said, who have bewitched you? Not to have to do. You have to the Holy Ghost. Come on, For you not to believe the truth. Come on, But the problem is, we, we start, we are proving what God did and put a seal on Okay, come here, Samuel. Samuel, Samuel, how long would thou mourn over Saul? And I have rejected. You crowned over somebody I rejected. And that's why it's important that we got to get to the place of discernment. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You ain't going to have no sharp discernment if you only pray once a week. Deserve ain't no butterfly, that's nervous, you're anxious. That ain't the nerve. Deserve may determine what the spirit is. You will know if it's of God, it is not of God. He gave deserve to the church so we can discern what's right and what's not right. The check engine light is on. Individually, we got to make sure that our filter ain't clogged up. Because what I told him this scenario before in Bible study, I said, listen. Sin is like a room on fire. Uh -huh. oh, yes, it's when the room ain't on fire, you can stand up and breathe real well. That's right. But as soon as that smoke come in that room, That's right. the first thing they tell you to do is what? Cover your nose. Then they say, get down on the floor. That's what sin will do. It'll make you lose your position. I ain't talking about your title. It'll make you lose your posture with God. So when you was standing up for what's right and what's wrong, now you've been down. Now you compromise. Now you want to take down now. No, baby, you told Joshua, if you get the sin out the gap, you can win. Hallelujah. You can't fight this battle alone. You need the Lord. Young, old, middle age. You still gonna need the Lord. People say, I, I told them, I, I tell them this right here. Don't say the home in the church is straight. My God. We just abide by the book. That's it. That's it right there. If you don't like it, take it up with God. You came too late to write the book. And you weren't going early enough to rewrite it. So your opinion don't matter when I say I'm in the book. You got to take it up with God. I said, well, you can praise them when you're free. Yeah. I said that all the time. You can praise them when you're free. But when you bound up, you in church look like, like you made a, they say smothered in lemon salt. I'm from the country, glory to God. <laughs> smothered in lemon salt. 
Ain't nobody wanna sit beside you, you smell like mothballs. <laughs> What am I talking about? Come on, let's go to the book. Leviticus, the 10th chapter. Aaron's two sons went to the temple. That's right. Trying to play church. Yes, and they offered up a, 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 a strange. A strange, strange body. Yes, sir. Strange body. Oh, yeah. Let me say it again. Strange body. Strange. Because you didn't come in the right spirit. Yes, and the Bible said that he consumed them yeah. at the altar. Yes, Come on here, Moses. When Moses' brother and sister was picking on him, That's right. they didn't want to receive him. Uh -huh. The Bible said he opened up the earth yeah. and swallowed them up and he closed the earth back. And you never got time to play church. And, and some, some people, they bought like sandbags. He told him to wait, we told him, I want to make sure I get it right. He told him to go, go, go dip yourself in the in the in the river. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the Bible said he came and he said, and the, the servant said, if that would have been somebody on the chariot or something like that, I'm paraphrasing, you would have went ahead and went. But respect the person gonna kill a lot of people. That's right. That's right. You can't holler that he up or she up. That's right. That ain't God. Yeah. We're many members. Uh -huh. One body. Yeah. I can't walk good without my big toe. My God. You can't hardly grip nothing without your thumb. Yeah. You can't see if you ain't got no eyes. Come on here. So if I don't uh, get along with you, I'm missing a part of the body. So yeah, now we walking staggering. Now we ain't got no stability. Because now I ain't got no balance. So we are against each other. So without you can't walk without the neck. You can't see good when well, you got a neck brace on. You have to turn. Down your back, you can't see the behind. But when you got the neck attached to the head, you can look all with good, 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 little, good little turn off to the side. But we need each other. But there's a spirit going along. Oh, Lord have mercy. I tell them, rebellion has hit the church like never before. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But I, I know I heard the book good. Rebellion working at the same spirit as witchcraft. Yeah. And we know to say, we suffer a witch to die and not live. Baby, you better make sure that you're in rebellion. That's right. Because you're killing yourself. A little rebellion is still rebellion. Yes. A little lie is still a lie. A little disobedient is still a sin. It's still disobedient. And sin can't enter in. I don't care how you put it. You can't get to heaven any kind of way. And you ain't got I tell you, you ain't got the same check like the thief on the cross. So Jesus done died. You can't use the thief no more. We gotta stop abusing grace and let's live this thing. The check engine light is on. Amen. I'm about done now. Glory to God. And you know, two symptoms that they give you when you got a bad filter and all. Yeah. They say your engine are overheat. Yeah. All right. Let me work on that. Okay. A lot of people you can't tell them nothing. You got to throw it Cause the engine overheated. Yeah. You're all bad. Yeah. So you read this fast. You read the retaliate. You read the Bible. Uh oh, glory to God. I ain't get too many amens. I'm here must get high. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And you know they say that the, the exhaust fumes become dirty. Uh -huh. The Bible says like this: let no corrupt communication Amen. proceed out of your mouth yeah. unless it's for the edification of the body. A lot of people, we got some, some let me say we in the body of Christ. We got some stuff on the inside. Amen. And because we ain't got the right filter, we easily to say anything. Amen. We ain't got no filter. Amen. Mm -mm. Because until you get the Holy Ghost, you can't keep yourself. Yeah. You can't keep yourself. I told him, stop getting in the line trying to get your body healed. Some of that reason you get it, you sick because you ain't obey God. That's the truth. That's the truth. All right. That's the truth. 
Because everything ain't the devil. And everything God don't do. Some stuff we put ourselves in. I can't make you drink. Amen. I wish somebody would try to tell me to go drink something. Oh, yeah. Ah. Put you in your place real quick. I ain't got to tell you, you might just get offended because I told you the truth. They say I talk hard, it's all right. But I'm not going to compromise with you either. Yeah, that's right. Because if I compromise with you, I got to compromise with the next person. That's right. And they're going to say, you remember when you told her it was all right. And now you're trying to tell me I can't do it. You got to compromise again. Right. So now you might as well let your standard on down. What the devil is a lie. Yeah. I, I come to tell you that God has sent old order to set order. Y'all yeah. what? Law and order. Uh -huh. You know, they, 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 they certify. Yeah. You know, law and order, hard people. But old order is coming back. So you're going to start hearing more messages about sin because it can't enter in. Glory to God. We got to clean up our house. Yes, we I know we got to get like the woman that was looking for the corn in her house. She lost that corn. She took, I, I, I can imagine. Now, I know we tell about our house for them keys. Y'all know how y'all Yes, sir. Y'all <laughs> You lose them keys, you are, you are, you late to everything. Look at what them keys. You know, put the pillows off the bed, everything. The chair in the front room tore up now because you look for keys. Took the cushion out the chair and everything. But when your spiritual house needs clean, how much more will you search your house? Oh yeah. How much more when you search your house? What good is going to church all these years and I die and go to hell from the church? Amen. That's right. My Lord, my Lord. All that shouting and speaking in your good tongues. My Lord, my Lord. All your running and, and all this good stuff and he said, depart from me. I know you're not. That's a sad case. My thing is, I said, well, Lord, what? don't go to hell for unrepentant sin. Right. Okay. Amen. Yeah. Don't go to hell for unrepentant sin. Just because you 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 might have think, oh, that wasn't a sin, that was a mistake. No, no. And what the devil would do, sin will take you farther than you want to go. And sin will keep you longer than you want to stay. Don't let the devil ride, because if he ride, he's going to want to drive. Man, you don't even have a ride in your car. I tell them, they, 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 we trying to give the world strips that only pertain to the church. Oh, my Savior. And we love to say, nah, nah, if you don't like it, take it up with the book. Glory to God. No weapon born against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against me in judgment, thou shalt condemn. But we forgot that last part. But this is the heritage of them that are righteous. It's a birthright. When I accepted him, it came with the package. David said, this, What shall I render unto the Lord? I feel my preaching spirit. What shall I render unto the Lord to receive of his benefits he got toward me? Paul picked it up and said, I beseech you, brother, by the mercy of God, you present your body. A living sacrifice. Holy. Holy and acceptable unto God. As your reasonable service, it's the least you can do. Glory to God. If you live holy, you can go to glory. But you ain't going to glory with any kind of story. Because hell will you lift up your eyes. I done suffer too much to play church. When I could have been dead because I've been covered in the blood, glory to God, hallelujah. Until I can sing a song that the angels can't sing. I've been watching the blood. I've been watching the blood. See, the angels couldn't get watched in the blood because they was already in glory. But when the, when the Lamb came down, and came down and flesh and dwelt among us, we beheld His glory. And only begotten of the Father, glory to God, full of grace and truth. But then Isaiah figured up, he said, Lord, I come in the volume of the book. 
It is sweet to me to do your will, O oh God. But oh, prepare me about not go down to redeem mankind. I'm so glad he came. Yeah. And I know one day he's coming back. Yeah. I tell him we tell him that at school, ready or not. Yeah. You got how to go see. You've been hiding for a long time. Yeah. You can get by right now. Yeah. Oh God, but one day he's going to break the sky. Glory to God. You don't think it's a train from down the road, but it's a glory that ain't coming. You don't, you don't think it's a, the train saying, oh, it's all the Lord, no baby. Uh -uh. When Gabriel come out of glory, and he blow that trumpet, you might think it's a horn from the band, the band from the high school. But baby, that horn will let you know that day that was dead. That a day in Christ shall rise first. And we that remain shall be caught up. Shall be caught up. Don't be caught up to go and go. But let me tell you, you can't. Like she said, you got to get locked for the plot. He said, he said, stand there with me in the liberty where God has set you free. Lay aside every weight and sin. Lord, y'all ain't, y'all ain't hollering like I'm hollering. Glory to God. Lay aside every weight and sin that makes no easy but set you from running your race. If you get it right, you get wrong. If you let go of some of that madness in your heart, you can be able to love right. The quickest way to get delivered, you got to forgive. Forgiveness ain't for them, it's for you. Free yourself up. Yeah, they lied on you, but forgive them anyhow. Yeah, they talked about you, but say you forgive them anyhow. But when you get free, because who the son set free? And free indeed. It's time to get it right. Glory to God. And let's stay right. Time out, but we end the day for two months. And next three months, we got to get prayer to come rededicate your life. If you get the Holy Ghost down on the inside. Oh, my Savior. If you get the Holy Ghost down in your bed, you hear what I said? Down in your bed. Not just the presence. Because that's only temporary. That's only temporary. But when you get the indwelling of the Holy Ghost, they come with power that we will make you do right. And it'll keep you, if, guess what? If you want to be careful, it's like, oh, God, know my heart, and hell, know your name. Yes, yeah. Yeah. yeah, God, know your heart, because I know the hidden intentions of your heart, because I'm gone. But that ain't an excuse not to get your heart right. All right. Glory to God. Your heart got to be circumcised. Amen. The word of God is quick. Yeah. Sharper. Sharper. And, and, no, go back. Powerful. Yeah. Sharper than any what? Two-edged sword. Did they get that last one? They don't get that last one. It's a, it's a discerning of spirits. Yes, sir. Hey, that's right. And it cuts down to the asunder. Yes, sir. That thing go down to the marrow of your bone. Oh, I know we got to get saved down to the bone. Just like you marinate them turkey legs, them turkey wings. And them date bones, I know they bones. It's like you marinate all that, that good stuff during time of Christmas, and you know, all that good stuff. You gotta let the word marinate in your bones. So that when you do get weak, the word can be. But if you ain't got no word, you ain't got nothing. Man shall not live by bread alone. But guess what? By every word. Not some of it. Every word that proceeded out of my John pick it up in Revelation and what? He said, eat the whole book. Eat the whole book. No, even the part that sounded to your men. When, when John said he ate the book, he said it was sour to his mouth. But when they got down that bed, now I can say like, they, oh 
old taste that sea. That the Lord has given. Now I can say, He's been so good. He's been in the honey when the honey comes. He's been in, in the bunny ice cream. And I love butter pecan, but he better than butter pecan. I love jelly cake. He better than jelly cake. And I love Kool-Aid pie. He better than Kool-Aid pie. <laughs> and I love honey bun cake. Well, he better than honey bun cake. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sweet in the honey run the honeycomb.
Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. God, you know the ailment in our bodies right now. God, you know the, the struggle that we have, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. You know the thorn that is in our flesh on today, God. God, let us God, to give us the grace enough to be sufficient enough to help us to deal with it, God. Don't let our flesh become a lifestyle. Don't let our thorn become a lifestyle, God. But God, give us power over that spirit. So God, you say all spirits are subject by you, by the Holy Ghost. And God, we thank you. And God, we pray right now, God, in the sick in the building. Heal right now in the name of Jesus. Heal them with your word, God. You said you sent your word and it healed them. God, we declare the healing virtue go out in the name of Jesus, according to your word. And God, we can to give your name the praise and to give you the glory. Let everybody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray my strength the Lord. Thank you for joining us here at Clinton Chapel of Praises Virtual Church. We pray that a song that was sang, perhaps the sermon that was preached, or the lesson that was taught was a blessing to you and yours. You may not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, and we would like to take this time to extend him to you. The Bible declares that if you believe with your heart, and confess with your mouth that God raised Christ from the dead, that you shall be saved. That's right, it's just that easy, believing and confessing. I would like to tell you that this way may not be easy. Therefore, we recommend that you find yourself a good Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church. There's strength among saints, and you cannot live this life by yourself. Now, I want you to do this for me. I want you to take a moment to pray to God. Some people say, I don't know how to pray, but it's just this simple. Just take time and have a small conversation with God and tell God that you're tired of the way you're living, tired of the things you're doing. And believe me, I promise you that this day will be the best day and it will begin a walk that you will never regret. I'm going to pray for you now. Father, we thank you for that soul that has just chosen you to be their Lord and Savior. Father, we want you to do a new work within them, clean them, change them. And God, let them have the desire to further themselves with you. And God, we thank you and we love you. And we know that all things, and we get, all things are done by you and through you. And we give your name praise. And believe me, saints, now the angels in heaven are rejoicing because you came to Christ. And not only are the angels rejoicing, but I and we here at Clinton Chapel are rejoicing along with you. Now listen to me. You take the Lord along with you everywhere you go. Shalom. You may join us here at Clinton Chapel of Praise for any of our services. Every Sunday at 9.45 a.m. we have Sunday School and 11 a.m. morning worship. The Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. we have prayer and Bible study. And if you would like to donate, you may do so by cash app dollar sign CCOP Church. Thank you for worshiping with us.